Yo Wagwan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install native instruments plugins to your PC. This will also show you how to install Contact 5 or Guitar Rig or whatever native instruments instrument you're particularly using. I believe I needed to install native instruments so that I could use Exhale, which uses Contact 5 in order to run so i needed to grab that so i'm going to walk you through the process in this video now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter Ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now let's get straight into this shall we First, my question of the day is what native instrument plugin are you trying to install? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, unfortunately, when I went through the actual install process, I remember recording the footage, but I can't find it. So I don't know where it is. So what, I'm just going to have to walk you through the process without actually installing it myself but i'm sure i'm going to be able to communicate effectively how to actually get this done as well as how to get your native instrument plugin up and running in fl studio which is the daw that we're going to be using for this video so first of all google native instruments go to the native instruments website if you don't know what it is it's native dash instruments.com okay and when you're on the native instruments website you have two main choices or three main choices first of all if you purchased a plugin from the native instrument website then you can simply scroll down and find that specific plugin that you have purchased or go to see all products over here if you want the contact 5 player or you want a free complete start which comes with a bunch of free samples and whatnot you can scroll down and come to free complete start and a contact 6 player you need to actually search for the player so if you go to contact and you find the contact six player for example if you purchase exhale like me or you purchase some sort of plugin that needs the contact six player in order to run then you can come here and that's how you get to the contact six free player and that's how you get to the contact uh, complete start with the free suite of a variety of sounds as they say over 2000 studio quality sounds so to download this contact six player or it doesn't matter what you're downloading from the site because either way you're going to need to actually go through the same process of downloading native instruments and downloading the hub so that you can use any plugin from native instruments so first of all you can download complete start which will give you a bunch more stuff and if you go through that it will show us the installation guide so if you just want to download the free contact player you go put in your email and then they'll send you a download link which will send you to download the contact player as well as download native access or if you're getting the complete start you can come over here we'll click on download and it will take you here where you can download native access as well so i downloaded native access for windows then you need to create a native id so just create an account with your email address and create a password then you can just create it in this native access program so let me bring up native access actually so you can see what it looks like and you can see that I actually have it installed. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download Native Access. Then create your account with Native Access. Then you'll see a variety of different things that you need that you want to install. So if you purchase the product using your native account, then it should appear right here. If you haven't yet purchased it, you can add a serial number in order to do that. Um, basically the best thing to do is if you're actually buying stuff from native instruments create your profile on the native instruments site before you actually buy it then when you log in to native access everything that you've purchased will be available and it will be right here so that you can actually install it so native access is just popping up now it's moving really really slow it's actually updating. Okay, so I'm gonna show you that in a sec when it's actually updated. Let's just walk through this. So that's basically all you need to do. Like there's no more you need to do. You just need to download native access, sign in with your native ID, preferably if you purchase something, sign in with the same ID you signed in on the website with. Then you'll see 
a bunch of the plugins that you can install. You just want to click on the plugin so you can click the install button and then it will install that plugin. And then let me bring you into FL Studio to show you how to actually find that plugin. Now, keep in mind, I have made a full video on how to install plugins and VSTs in FL Studio. And you can definitely check that out on my channel. I'll link it down below. And basically you want to go to options, then go to manage plugins. We're just gonna go through this really, really quickly to show you how this is done specifically for native instruments. And then once you go to manage plugins, another window will pop up. There we go. There's our window. <laughs> and it seems to be loading our plugin list. So we're gonna let it do that. And now we are here. Now what you'll need to do is you'll need to actually scan your plugin. So you need to press this find plugins button and you need to make sure that the folder that you've installed that VST to is listed here. If it's not listed here, you need to click on this button and go to that folder. So this plus folder button, you need to click on that and then actually navigate to the folder. It will bring up a browse window, let me show you. And then you can go to the right folder, pick that folder and then it will scan inside that folder. That's all you need to do there. And in order to actually make this plugin appear when you're actually trying to use it, for example, if I wanted Excel to appear, it should actually already be here. Where's Excel? Where are you, my friend? Oh no, it's contact actually, contact. So basically what you need to do in order to make it appear is you need to click on the star on the left so let's find contact contacts right here if we click off that star this won't appear in our drop down plugins but if you click on the star it will okay and when you actually install your plugin for the first time when you come in here that will be highlighted yellow so that's how that works as you can see all these plugins are highlighted yellow <laughs> so if we was to that just turn that off and then once there's a star on the left of it then you can actually see it in your plugin drop down menu so if we wanted to go to contact right here we see it right there so that's how you get your native instrument plugins installed and how you install native access now native access is actually still installing some sort of update which i i don't get let's close this down and we'll try and open it one more time so i can kind of show you what's going on inside of there but otherwise you know i'm just gonna have to leave it because this is on so long, I can't even close it down. I can't even, you know, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave that. I think I've given you enough information so that you understand exactly how to install Native Instruments and how to get it up and running. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any questions or you want me to make any other tutorials. And if you wanna mix your beats, 10 times faster and have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage, then grab my R&B Trap Beat mixing template link is in the description down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash rmb trap fl this is perfect for trap beats as well okay so just grab the rmp trap template this is my most updated template and this is the template that i use to make all my beats okay now native access has actually come up so I'm just gonna show you that. I just need to sign in real quick. Let me do that. Okay, so here is my native access account. As you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff that I didn't install. So maybe I did get that full native complete thing. But the only thing that I installed, the only thing that I needed was contact six player and exhale. If I wanted to install something else, all I need to do is press this install button and then go through the process that I showed you in FL Studio again to have that actually show up in my session. So that's how you do it, very, very straightforward. Download Native Access, sign in using the same account that you use to purchase your plugins, install Native Access <laughs> beforehand. You can add serials, add a serial number if you've got a serial number up here. And then when you're in here, it should so show you all the software that you currently have on your profile that you haven't installed. But if you created a new profile, then you can add that serial number. And then all you need to do is click this install button, take a little while to install it, and then go through the steps that I showed you to have that actually shop in FL Studio. Okay, does that help?
I hope it does. Now, if you got any other questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, as I said before, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business, and online marketing. Peace out.